Welcome to the Pre-PIF Tracking System for Project Concepts entered into the PMIS of the Global Environmental Facility, the GEF. We encourage you to watch the video to understand how to navigate the workflow and enter the necessary information for your project concepts. This video provides information for operational focal points, OFPs, and agencies, all of whom should be familiar with the GEF PMIS. Let's begin. To begin, visit www.jeffpmis.org. Log in with your pre-approved email and password. For the purposes of this video, we will log in with a test email for the country Albania. The first screen is the Project Concepts List screen. You have tabs for Concept, Projects, Reports, Administration, Help and Logout. There are two tables, one for concepts created by the OFP pending submission and one for concepts submitted by the OFP. Under concepts created by the OFP, you have the opportunity to view, edit, print, or email the concepts. While on the concepts submitted by the OFP, you can see the dates that agency action is due. If no prior concepts has ever been submitted, these tables will be blank. To create a new concept, click on the tab above. On the Project Concept Entry screen, fill out the Project Concept title. Select an agency to submit to. Enter a Project Concept Objective and a Project Concept Description. The Jeff Grant field is voluntary. On the Project Concept Contact Person in Country, OFPs have the option to add an additional point of contact, such as a desk officer or technical team member to be copied on emails generated through PMIS. Then, save to generate ID. After the initial concept is saved, a concept ID will be created. Once a concept is created, then documents can be attached and not before. On the confirmation page, there are also further options. At this point, the OFP can still drop the pre-PIF concept. To further edit the document, click on Edit Attach Documents for Concept Just Created. Once a project concept is created, additional fields will become available for editing and OFPs will be able to submit the project concept to agencies or drop the concept. Note: Once a project concept is accepted by an agency, an OFP no longer has the option to drop the concept. The section Action Dates displays the sequence of project concept status changes according to the action by the OFP or agency. Both OFPs and agencies can print a project concept directly from their project concept list simply by clicking on the respective icon. Subsequently, both OFPs and agencies can email a project concept directly from their project concept list screens by clicking on the respective icons and documents to the project concept record will be also attached to this email. To generate a project concept summary report, Return to the Project Concepts List page and click on the Reports tab. The resulting summary report can be filtered by agency and by status. For agency users, return to the login screen and enter your pre-approved email and password. The first screen for an agency user after logging to PMIS will be the PMIS Project Concepts list. Here the user can print, view, accept or decline received project concepts. By clicking on the project ID, the agency user has the opportunity to see the project's core information as entered by the OFP. There will be the Project Concept Identification, the Project Concept Contact Person and Country, Action date. Agencies have 30 days to take action on a concept by either accepting or declining. There would be an automated email reminder at the 20-day mark generated from within the JEFSEC reminding the agency of pending action. In the comments section, the agency user can input comments for internal use regarding the project concept. There is also the option to accept, decline, or print the concept. By returning to the concept list screen, agencies can generate summary reports by clicking on the Reports tab. This report can be filtered by country or status of concept. 
The JAG Secretariat welcomes any questions and inquiries regarding the pre-PIF process by email at jackpmis-support at thejeff.org. Thank you.